I'm going to show you how to do roasted mung bean curry for this recipe. I'm using you can use mung beans, full mung beans or half the split ones like this. So you have to dry roast this until it's nice golden color and half a teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of curry powder, little bit of turmeric powder, chilies and garlic, onion, pandan leaves and curry leaves and cinnamon and a cup of thick coconut milk. So what I am going to do first is to dry roast the mung beans. I am going to use the split ones. If you are using the dry, um, the sorry, the whole mung beans, what you have to do is dry roast it and you have to use a heavy um, like a mortar and a pestle or heavy um, grinding stone and put it on tea towels and cover it with another tea towel and grind it then it becomes uh, like this into two split pieces or you can buy the split one from directly from the shop when you do dry roasting use a, a, a very old pan or a pot to do that because it comes to a high temperature and it ruins the pot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mung beans and dry roast this until golden brown after roasting the mung beans wash it several times add and add uh, two cups of water and leave it on the stove to boil once you have boiled that about four to five minutes add all the spices and you can see that it's growing uh, it double in size anyway so put the spices into the pot mix it well and cook again about five minutes once you have cooked the mung beans about five minutes add the thick coconut milk and into that add enough salt to your taste and cook this uncovered about two minutes after cooking several minutes the mung beans are ready to serve if you like you can cook it the, uh, until there is no gravy or serve it like this the aroma of the roasted mung beans are really nice if you leave a little bit of gravy and i hope you will enjoy this recipe thank you for watching